Hola, mi loves. Que lo que was popping was goody. How's everybody doing on this moon day? We finna find out what our angels, our spirit guides, our ancestors want us to know right now for the week ahead. Oh, grr. this is a week ahead collective horoscope. Okay, so. Whatever we need to know, I'm setting the intention that we will point out. Everybody watching live, shout out to you. And as well, everybody watching the replay, please like the video, comment. Let me know how the message resonate with you. Okay, boo. And as well, we are about a week away from the next Collective Candle Ricky. Okay, this is going to be for the new moon in Aries. And we are having this on April 12th. It's a moon day. So it's a week away. It's $14.44. And we will be doing a sec met activation. Okay. So we can embody this energy of our power, our creativity, our courage, our ability to shine, to be seen, to be heard, okay? And heavy on this heart chakra energy, okay? Heavy on healing our heart chakra and as well rooting and being stable like, and stabilizing our root chakra, okay? So we're going to be working very heavily with our uh lower chakras here okay the red energy the orange the yellow all of those colors are perfect for the reiki okay secure spot on my website big empress energy llc.com okay link is in the bio now let me get my coffee comment an emoji let me know how y'all feeling today how was everybody feeling today we have a rose quartz, okay, baby rose quartz here. And as well, I'm messing with some clear quartz, my baby blessings, okay? So let's get into this reading. We have our crystals. We're going to get it popping. We're going to get it locking. We're going to get it popping. Spirit, what is it that every single body watching this reading needs to know right now for our week ahead? Spirit, what is the energy? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of orange. Holla back on this uh, lion goddess energy. Okay, lots of orange. Heavy on this sacral. Heavy on this creation. Creation mode. Creatrix mode. Inspiration. Okay, inspiration. Um, so, whoo, and I'm also seeing that some people are getting very aggravated. This could be short tempered. Okay. Some people could be feeling a lot of short tempers. Like, um, you don't have time. You don't want to deal with nobody. Okay. It's because you're needing to really replenish and restore your own energy. Okay. You cannot give to others if you're not giving to yourself. Okay. You cannot give quality to others if you are not giving to yourself. Okay. So that's something y'all need to know as well. Woo, okay, this selenite is, mm, okay, so I'm seeing, I'm hearing clarity, clear, um, and everything like that, so what I'm feeling with this energy is heavy on this, like, bathroom cleansing energy, maybe this is, like, it's raining where you are, you're do you're really cleansing your energy, okay, maybe you're taking more showers, more baths than usual, you're getting really divine ideas in the bath, this is also cooled down, this is also cool down to get clear, okay? This is not acting and reacting from an unconscious level, but a responding from a conscious level, okay? So cool down, calm down for clarity, okay? Ooh, yes! Okay, shout out to my Taurus, my Virgo, my Capricorn energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and the two of cups, okay, heavy on this heart. This says make love, not war, okay? Heavy on this heart healing, okay, for our foundation, okay? Page of pentacles here. This, I feel like, is somebody really rooting, really grounding their ideas in reality. You could be spiritual all you, all you want. You could put all the crystals in your bra. You could save your crib 10 times a day. But if you are not taking those actions for yourself, for your soul, for your spirit, having soul time, spirit time, okay? This is incorporating a daily mindfulness practice, daily meditation, daily reflection, okay? Um, and I'm hearing daily silence, okay? 
okay, where you're just not absorbing, but you're observing, okay? You're not absorbing, you're observing, okay? Um, heavy on the creating, we're not consuming, okay? This is the energy of we know what's best for us. It's okay to, to get inspired, but you do not want to copy and paste someone else's uh, swag or copy and paste a, a program that you have been, you know, um, that have been put on you from your family when you was young or people around you and what they expect of you, okay? Um, so I feel like that's breaking away from that with that energy of the Page of Pentacles really investing and grounding and rooting yourself. I'm also seeing a student here. This is someone who maybe is investing in their education or alternative education or a certificate, an extension on your degree. We have the High Priestess that came out. Now we have 2-2. Two, two. So we could be seeing that number a lot okay two two twenty two and two is a number of bringing in balance two is a number of partnership okay and with this energy two two is the number of our intuition with this high priestess like i told you you know what's best for you boo the high priestess knows already what's goody okay the high priestess it, it, it's like you all you're needing to also go within to discover your own high priestess to discover your own intuition to discover your own akashic records i'm seeing i'm seeing that um this is your own soul's memory your own uh soul's gifts okay as well uh with this high priestess i also am feeling that as we're leading up to this new moon on the weekend we could be feeling very emotionally. I'm seeing emotional re restoration, okay? Emotional restoration. That's how we're going to be healing our heart chakra. Emotional restoration. Trusting in your intuition, okay? Heavy connecting with the moon. Some people are getting uh, triple crown jewelry. Triple, like really focusing on this triple crown energy is what I'm seeing. And with the high priestess, I'm hearing I called it, okay? I called it. I knew that was going to happen. Queen of cups in the reverse, okay? Heavy on this... Um, seeing be like seeing it in your third eye before seeing it with your two eyes okay trusting in the unseen okay a lot of people as well maybe you did a magic spell you did an intention a few weeks ago maybe two weeks ago two days ago and you're going to start to see um the seeds sprouting okay in this week Ooh, yes okay beloved we have the four of swords the world card okay and the ace of swords oh i love this because with this ace of swords this is us getting that new um that that new spirit here of our mental realms and what i'm seeing is like new divine ideas new divine business ideas clarity again this is that clarity energy Pero, okay, what I'm seeing is that it's not yet in the physical. It's coming in or maybe it's in it, it, it's only a thought. It's only an idea. It's only a seed now. Okay? With the world card here, you're ending cycles, ending karmic cycles, seeing ish from a higher perspective here. And with the world card, a lot of us here are learning so much from our Saturn in our chart. Maybe we had just went through a Saturn return or we're reflecting on our Saturn return or we're just getting into our Saturn return. And this is like, wow, thank God I went through the struggle because it was a key ingredient to my success, okay? Thank God I learned those lessons so now I can teach. Thank God I experienced this because now I have a higher perspective. I'm also seeing, thank God I protected myself, okay? With this energy, some of you guys might have declined something or you, you needed to say no, you declined, you needed to protect your energy and it's gonna be proven why. You're gonna be like, okay, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen, okay? So really trusting in that, um, third eye okay and what you cannot see uh with this world card okay um i'm also seeing someone having a very mature um this could be you have a mature child like your child is very mature for their age or um you are feeling like you have just evolved so much and you're taking those ideas that you had just um, digested and that you have alchemized and you're really embodying it. You're really acting on it. Okay. So no one can tell you ish. Okay. Um, so that's another thing I'm seeing with this and we have the three of swords. Okay. Heart healing, the moon card, the moon court. Okay. With the moon card, the high priestess, the queen of cups, it's not getting more intuitive than this. Okay. With this moon card, a lot of us will be discovering, uncovering some of us here. This is surprising news, surprising letters in the mail. Um, 
surprising messages dms things are coming to the surface but for some of you guys it's not a surprise because you already know okay another thing i'm seeing is that dreams are getting very vivid less um lessons dream guides okay are coming in teaching you something in your dreams okay some of you guys also with this energy you're reflecting on your childhood you're reflecting on your mother and how you were nurtured and you're reflecting and you're evolving you're the one who needs to nurture yourself okay you're the one here being called to heal yourself mother yourself okay create a space for yourself um because i'm also seeing with this two of cups this um higher self integration okay so this is like merging with the bigger picture okay um merging with the bigger picture healing your heart and what i love so much about this is that we have two of cups no so first of all we have ace so this is one ace of swords then we have two of cups then we have three of swords then we have four of swords so we have one two three four and we, and then we also, you know, like I told you already, we had those two and two. And so with this energy, really focusing on what I'm seeing is what, what had hurt us in the past cannot hurt you anymore, okay? What had once hurt you is now healing you. Wow, what had once hurt you is now what's going to heal you, okay? So it's okay to feel those feelings. It's okay to revisit those memories. It's okay to reflect because you're safe in the present. That's why we're we're doing with the root chakra and the heart. So we c it's okay to heal your heart. It's okay to feel your feelings. It's okay to remember any trauma and sadness because you're also... Um, rooting it down in something stable okay you're anchoring yourself in this reality and the support you have in your higher self and your ancestral support and your spirit guide support and also what i'm seeing is evolution this is about the, the steps right the evolution one two three four so um also with this divine time a lot of us are going to be at the right place at the right time okay and you're going to be like thank god i left when i did okay thank god i left when i did Another thing I'm seeing a challenge that we have here is boundaries, setting boundaries with people in your life. This could be partners. Um, some of you guys really need to set boundaries. It's a new thing for you to set these boundaries, pero it's the best thing for you to protect your energy because you're very empathic and you pick up on those people's energies who's around you. Oh, we have lovers, sweetheart, and pleasure seekers, okay? it's getting hot it's getting spicy some people here um doing more things that you love hanging out with people you love soul mates this could be soul friendships soul clients um partnerships okay as well romantic platonic but with sweetheart and lovers it's getting very heart centered okay heart centered and what spirit is saying is to go in the direction of what feels good pleasure seekers seek the pleasure seek the love go where you feel loved okay <laughs> And if you don't know if someone loves you, if you don't know if someone cares about you, then they probably don't. Then they probably don't. Okay, so stop ignoring red flags, ignoring the red so the the red flags, okay, the signs. Okay? Some of us here what I'm seeing is music also is going to be helping us to um to feel the love again okay so what i'm seeing is how music can help us revisit a memory okay so some of us here we're listening to music maybe love songs love music revisiting a memory okay as well healing our heart with that energy now i'm going to see what affirmation we have uh what affirmation we have for this week ahead damn Ooh. okay wow we have the point of power is always in the present moment okay the point of power is always in the present moment the past is over and done and has no power over me i can begin to be free in this moment today's thoughts create my future i am in charge i now take my own power back i am safe and i am free okay so we're not letting the past hold us back okay because we have the power in the present like i said we're rooting ourselves in the present okay and then we have i let go of all expectations okay letting go of all, all expectations i flow freely and lovingly with life i love myself 
I know that only good awaits me at every turn. Oh my, I have chills. Only good awaits me at every turn. Affirming that, okay? Affirming that. Letting go of this expectation of heartbreak, this expectation of maybe betrayal, okay? Some of you guys, what I'm seeing is that you don't even put yourself out there because your fear of rejection is so strong. It's so hard, okay? You don't want to open up your heart because you had gotten hurt before. And what I'm seeing is that you're needing to make a shift with that, okay? How can you um open up with love and pleasure and all of that when you don't even like you don't RSVP, you don't comment, you don't, you don't, you don't DM nobody, you don't message anybody back, you just isolate your damn self, okay? So that's a whole word for somebody too. Damn, they're saying open up, communicate. Um, yeah, <laughs> open up. That could be a challenge for some of you guys. Uh, we have surrender to joy. Surrender to joy. Surrender to love. Surrender to what feels good for you. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy, okay? So when you do have those feelings of joy, savoring it, sitting in it, appreciating it, okay? So many people are just living in the future and then when you get what you pray for, you're missing it because you're still focused on the future, okay? Damn, surrender to joy, surrender your ego, Surrender your ego. It's not your amigo, okay? This says, cultivate gratitude to be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals, okay? Surrender your ego. Your ego is the one getting in your way. Your ego is the one causing your heartbreak. Your ego is the one stopping you from sharing and having communion, partnership, and balance with people, Whoo, a whole message, okay? What I'm getting from this is some people are really comfortable, you know, being alone. They're really comfortable in their own company. But um, I'm seeing with this, a lot of soul family are, are trying to come to you, spiritual family, people you know from your past, people you know from other lives, okay? So um, open up your heart chakra, Mira, heart chakra card, this is green. This says victim, okay? And you know what's interesting is this is an acorn. I've been seeing a lot of references with acorns recently because i just noticed that where um somewhere where i was it says that their their town is about from oaks to acorns or whatever and i'm like acorns and then i see keep seeing acorns pop up acorns pop up now this is an acorn okay so what i'm getting with this energy is again planting that seed opening up your mother effing heart because it, it, it could be small in the beginning but like an acorn is gonna grow to something big okay an oak tree so with this energy sometimes it's just opening the door a little bit to your heart okay opening it up softening up just a little bit okay cooling down just a little bit and something beautiful something huge can grow from that something monumental something sustainable okay wow and then we have dissipating this is a solar plexus chakra energy and some of you guys what i'm seeing with this dissipating is like letting your time pass by by not really grounding in your actions grounding with your choices okay so don't let the time pass you by okay um and with this victim energy too with this energy, some of what I'm seeing is that someone around you could be giving that victim energy off, okay? They always have a problem and everything like that. And what I'm seeing is also having compassion, but not any sympathy. You know what I'm saying? You can have compassion for people, but it doesn't mean you're going to be absorbing it because of, with all this empath energy, if you have a lot of people with victim mindsets around you and they're always complaining about something, that's going to drain your energy. So that's why you need to protect your energy from this energy vampires okay and just be like um I, what do you want me to do with this information what are you going to do about your life listen i cannot make your choices for you boo boo mm? what are you going to do about that what i'm seeing some of you guys got to shine that mirror on somebody so they can really see real friends don't always agree with you real friends don't always um are going to support the effery okay they're not going to support the effery real friends okay so if, if someone in your crew is really like you need I, I feel like you need to give them a reality check and, and slap them up a little bit okay verbally with, with love okay with love <laughs> Woo. okay we have stay optimistic 
<laughs> Stay optimistic. This says your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. I feel like I pulled this last time. Okay, so a lot of us are so close to some thing that we've been dreaming of okay and spirit saying stay optimistic keep dreaming and never give up and then we have alchemy so so much of us are alchemizing new information in our body embodying our like the spiritual aspect the spiritual knowledge that we've been receiving especially in your dreams some people having very prophetic dreams needing to write down their dreams even just impressions from their dreams and alchemy says you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold so this is a green light to go for the gold that you can transmute, that you can alchemize the energy, that you got the Midas touch and dream big, okay? This says let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding, okay? This is something that I shared earlier with the Beloved Tarot School in our video for how to connect with the higher self. It was um, how can you receive your blessings if you can't even receive a compliment, okay? You're needing to see yourself as a divine, as God sees you. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. Um, let go of, I can't do this, okay? Let go, oh, oh um, it's only for those people, not me. Let go of this energy because you have the Midas touch. You have an idea that nobody can execute like you, okay? You have a mind that no one can copy like you. You have an energy that no one can be, okay, baby? So dream big and what i'm seeing is that a lot of people are taking more time for naps maybe you're extra tired you're getting a lot of downloads rest you're you're al you're actually alchemizing new energy in your dreams in your sleep okay so you need to get your rest some of you really 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 need to get your rest i'm done i'm done baby okay we pull sec met Okay, sec, man, I've been talking about this God is from the beginning. This is the activation we're going to be having for the Reiki on Monday, 412, baby. Okay, a sec, man, activation. This says be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. I told you, this is the energy. This is the invitation of this season, baby, okay? So with Sekhmet, you need to know that you're stronger than the bull. You're stronger than this, okay? You're stronger than whatever challenges you're facing, whatever conflict you have, whatever you are going through right now, whatever you're needing to release, let go of, you're stronger than it, okay? Do not give up, okay? Stay strong. And when you stay strong and when you stay faithful and when you stay committed, that's what's going to assure your success in life. If you give up, nothing's going to happen for you, boo-boo. Nothing's going to happen. And then we have Sage, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate, okay? Meditate, like I said, you having the soul life, but if you have all the crystals and all the sage in the world, but you're not taking this time for your soul, for your spirit, you aren't doing shit with your life, okay? You're not doing anything. Take this time for yourself. Be quiet. You cannot hear spirit when your ego is talking all day long and your mind is shitty chatter. Let me tell you, I know. You cannot. I'm a Gemini. I know. I'm a Gemini stellium. I'm a Taurus. Let's get it correct. But I know about how the mind is, okay? Trust me. I know. And when you're wrapped up in that mind talk, in that ego talk, you don't see spirits. You don't see the divine. You, you could be tapping in with trickster spirits, okay? Spirits that are trying to take away from your energy, energy vampires, okay? So all my empaths, all my queen of cups, all my high priestesses, okay? All my moon energy babies, you're needing to reserve that energy, okay? Protect your energy. Take time away from some people, quiet time and Reserve your energy. Be strong. I feel this energy so strongly right here, okay? Like someone's right next to me. Is that Sekhmet? I swear I feel it so strong. Pull one more cord. Connect with your ancestors, okay? Connect with your ancestors. They're with you, sending you signs. Sit at your altars. We have spent time with animals, okay? Your fur babies, fur family, um, positive affirmations, affirming you're worthy, you're powerful, you're blessed. Hydrate, okay? Okay, cool down, hydrate, drink your water. 
at the bottom of the deck we have look for fairies fairies are sending us messages okay the fairies you cannot f with them okay they're really beautiful to have by your side they help organize your life help you to shine help you to look good and they also protect you from people who want to mess with you okay so thank you for so much for watching this um <laughs> this week ahead reading okay if it resonates with you please comment okay i love to read the comments you can also tip hit my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy exchange and it's been an abundance and fall over yo life okay oh, yes um secure your spot for the new moon collective candle reiki which includes a youtube live sound bath and group reading on youtube it is 14 dollars 44 we're doing a segment activation as y'all know segment is here with us so it's if you're called answer the call okay and that's it i love you guys so freaking much bye